Hey guys! So I'm so excited because this video is going to be a sketchbook tour of my Moleskine sketchbook and I told you guys earlier that I would do this someday eventually. I was hoping to finish it first but there's just so many pictures in here that are unfinished and I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you because um, that's what most of my sketchbooks are, just a bunch of unfinished pictures. Uh, so yeah, I had I was looking for video ideas and somebody requested this on Instagram and so I thought, hey, why not? Let's do it. Um, Moleskine sketchbooks are awesome. The paper is really nice. I've done watercolor in here. Um, markers will bleed, but if you don't mind having a uh, marker on the back side of the paper, you can just slip a paper in between the paper you're using and the rest of the sketchbook and use Copic markers on that. Um, so yeah, I've done a lot of the sketchbook and I am so ready to show it to you. So let's get into it. So one more thing before I actually get into it about where you can find the sketchbook. I got this one for a birthday present, but I have seen them at Barnes & Noble and also Michaels and I'm sure you can find them many other places. You can even just buy them from someplace online. And this sketchbook is my 2015-2016 sketchbook. Okay, so this page is really lame. Um, <laughs> I didn't, I started in the middle of the sketchbook, so my really good drawings are in the middle, and this one was just kind of, I don't know when I do this one. I was going to draw a bunch of people just standing in line, different types of people, but I just eventually gave up on that one. And this one should be the beginning of my sketchbook, because I really like it. Haven't even finished it yet, but I'm still working on it. Not sure if I'm going to color it. Might. But of course, as you can see, it's done. It's, it has a lot of line work, and it's taken a long time to get to this place. It says the, be the end of one thing is the beginning of another. And these things over on this side are kind of end things, like she's like sleeping. Um, there can be, you can say these are tears, this is the moon, stars, like the end of the day. And then over here, the beginning of a new day, she's looking up, she's happy. So that's kind of the thoughts behind that drawing. And then these were from a challenge from Knowledge Draws on Instagram. And basically, basically it was people describe a character to me and they don't tell me what their name is. And then I draw them and see how close I get to the original. So this one... Um, the person described it, and in the end, it turned out being, um, Zoella, but I didn't know that, and so I drew it how they described it. This is the person who described it to me, and yeah, it was a really fun challenge. Here's another one, and it was a bit of a longer description, but I tried to write the, the description with each of these so that I would remember what they said. And this one was going to be another one, really long description here. I like how they got so detailed with it, but as you can see, I never finished it. Over here are four characters from the Lunar Chronicles. I love this book series. I definitely recommend it to those of you who like to read. It's kind of sci-fi, um, fairy tale. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And so I just draw the, I just drew the four main characters from it. Cinder is my favorite, as, as in the way I drew her. I really like how that turned out just sketching them. And this one, I had a reference for this girl, and then I just wrote that on the side in my non-calligraphy handwriting, <laughs> just trying to make it look kind of fancy. I want to put watercolor in the background to give it some color, but haven't done that yet. Here's another drawing that will take a very long time. I started it um, in October of last year, and have not gotten around to finishing it yet, but the final picture will have hair like all over the side of the page. This picture is, as you can see, the date, October 25. We went to an air show that day, so I just kind of drew my day. I drew this while sitting on the bus and then the rest of this while on the way back as a little summary of what we did that day. It was really fun. This one was really was gonna be um, like a princess type person and then her castle on this side but I was trying to draw a bunch of little buildings and houses never finished that but then I did finish her and I used 
it started out with me just using pen, red pen, silver pen, and um, then I eventually added color pencil to that one. And it's shiny! Yay, I love my silver pen. <laughs> okay, this one is again done with the silver pen and then black pen up here. And as you can see, I wrote myself little notes on this page, and I do that a lot um, if I have to stop the drawing. Um, but I wanted the whole background to be a sunset, and then she just kind of gets faded into the sunset. This one is finished. Finally, you have a finished picture. I, I used to be really into drawing manga style characters, even though I never actually got into manga or anime. The only anime I guess I could say I've seen is Studio, Gil Studio Ghibli films. Those are so cute, and I love all the movies. Um, but yeah, I just really like the style, and I really liked it when I was younger. Um, but every now and then, I still like to draw it, and this was one of those times where I got in the mood to draw some manga style people. This one is not finished, but I was playing around with motion, and she's kind of flying, and it's magical, so that was fun to doodle. And see, this is what I was talking about the Copic in the beginning. It bleeds a little bit, and so as you can see, this page has a Copic marker drawing. And as most of you, I'm sure, can tell, this is Shigo, and I drew her in November of last year, and then I came back one day in school and decided to sketch Kim Possible next to her, and that was in February of this year. And I thought, oh, I can do her in Copic too, but then I realized I don't really want to mess up this picture on the back. So I might color, I might use color pencil to color her in later. I'm not totally satisfied with the sketch, so I don't know when I'm going to do that. I might redo her face or something. And here's more of the bleeding Copic. Um, and, of course, as you can see, I was testing my Liquitex ink on this side of the paper. Sometimes I just feel like doing random little doodles, so there's a candle. This picture was gonna have her standing in the mirror, mirror, looking at herself right there, and then all these glamour magazines on the wall around her. And it says, to be perfect, right here. Here's some sketches. I was just looking at people on Pinterest, actually, and practicing real, quick, realistic sketches. Um, yeah, it's good to practice every now and then. Um, this one, we went to a park, and there was this really interesting looking tree, and so I thought I'd add some creativity to that and make the, the little moss hanging down from it as her hair. It's just a sketch, as you can see. Again, another unfinished picture. This is from... We were writing these creative stories for English class, and I just kind of wanted to see what my character looked like, so I sketched her out right there. More sketches of girls. This was going to be a redo of a picture that I did a long time ago. It's actually on my Instagram account if you scroll down really far. Um, of a girl holding her hair. It's like super long hair. So I was gonna just redraw that picture, but never got around to finishing it. I really want to finish this picture too. I'm gonna watercolor the background. It's sunset, so it's gonna be like sunset colors fading into a dark blue sky. Uh, more Disney vibes. And then this was gonna be just completely filled with buttons, colorful buttons, but that's a really big job. <laughs> So, I never finished that one either. Maybe I'll get around to it someday. This was a, a fun experimental drawing. This is getting close to where I actually started the sketchbook. Um, basically, you just... Technically, I guess I could say I didn't lift the pen, but I did. I lifted it, but I made it look like I didn't lift the pen and just kind of scribbled to create somebody in this picture. There are some really talented people that do this same technique and make it look so realistic. I follow some of those accounts on Instagram. This is the... No, this is not the first... Wait, this is not the first picture that I did. I thought this was halfway in the book because it had these little things, but I didn't even notice that it wasn't at all. Um, this is thicker than that side, so it's not technically the middle, but we can pretend it is. And so I just did a bunch of Zentangle type stuff on this side. If you believe you can, you're halfway there, and this side is pretty much blank because you're halfway there. Look at me. Okay. 
This is probably my favorite picture in this book. I love this picture so much, and of course, as most of you have seen, I did a painting based on this picture as well. But this is a watercolor. Those leaves took forever, the stars took forever. But I called this On the Edge of Imagination, and it represents kind of the world of reality, the tree, the hammock, the girl, where it meets her imagination. She's So she's like in the regular hammock, and then she's imagining all this stuff around her. This was the first picture I did in this book. Um, just trying to try out the page, see how watercolor reacted to the paper. Yeah. This is one of the first pictures I did as well. She's imagining this, and this is kind of what she wants her character to look like, you know? This represents um, a character in her mind that's being drawn. As you can see, that is not actually what she, what it looks like as she is drawing it. Here is one that is on the edge of imagination as well, but part two. Um, and I didn't get around to finishing that, but I do really like how this water turned out, this galaxy lake sorts. Okay, this is another challenge I did, and it's also, it was also on Knowledge Draw's Instagram account where she would listen to a song and then draw what she thought about it, and so I decided to try that as well. This one is based on Gold by Imagine Dragons, and then this one is Irresistible by Fall Out Boy. And then these were some that I started but never finished. Car Radio by 21 Pilots, where these people are kind of absorbed in their own music, and she took, an, she took off her headphones, and she's more aware of everything around her. And then this one was going to be based on Not About Angels. Again, I wrote more little notes to myself. And this one was the beginning of my little series, Autumn in a Cup. I thought that was a pretty cool idea, and it was fun to do. And here are some more designs for that. And here's another sketch that I didn't finish, but here's one that I did. We used to wear paper crowns, but now we crave gold. Another little anime manga style character. And this, hopefully many of you remember, is when I hit 20k on Instagram. Just did a bunch of doodles around that. Originally I wanted to fill up the whole page, but I did not get done in time. So I thought, okay, we'll just leave it like this. And this one is another challenge. I don't remember who started this. Um, maybe Love Mary Wing, something like that, on Instagram. And day one was change, so she's changing from a mermaid into a human. Day two, season, lights, warmth, family, favorite movie. <laughs> At least favorite Disney movie because I could not think of a favorite movie. I have too many movies that I like doing. Um, but yeah, my favorite Disney princess movie is probably uh, Tangled. I really love that movie. I love Frozen, but I love Tangled as well. And I think I might like it a bit more than Frozen. But it's hard to choose a favorite. And now I'm thinking my favorite Disney movie is Zootopia. But we'll see. Maybe Maybe my favorite movie will be... Finding Dory when that comes out, which I'm so excited for. Um, day 7 was Decorate, 8, Green, Red, Gift, Dance, Festive, Winter, and this is another character from the Lunar Chronicles, where I drew those first sketches back in my sketchbook. Sugar, Favorite Holiday Treat, I love hot chocolate, so good. Memories. This kind of reminds me of the music video from One Direction. Um, I cannot think of the title now. Story of my life. That's what it is. Um, heart. So her heart is broken. In my cup. Christmas sweaters. And I did not completely finish the challenge because things got busy since it was Christmas season. We were going on vacation and doing all this fun stuff. But these are the sketches for the following days. And I don't think I ever posted this on Instagram, so 
that was almost done. I'm just going to color these as blue, I think. Um, but you've never seen these before, so that's cool. Um, I was just kind of designing what I wanted a website to look like if I had one. This was um, going to and going to represent how we can always be so caught up in just trivial things like playing on our phones, listening to music, and while we're doing nothing, people are suffering in the rest of the world, and it's often hard to remember that we need to help others around us. And I mean, I know I struggle with this all the time. This is from personal experience, but um, it just makes me feel sad that I often don't even um, try to help the others that are suffering in the world. I really like this sketch. I was in photography class this year and I was planning future photos. Never did this one, but um, I would love to actually just draw it because I love how the hair turned out and the pose and everything. So you might see that later in a bigger picture. Here's more doodles on this side. <laughs> Here's a pun. I was at a wedding and somebody wanted to make a toast, so naturally I made a toast. Um, here's more little character doodles. And more in the same type of style. I really, really love how this one turned out. So these I was just trying to get out of artist block, I think. So I was trying to draw things that I wouldn't normally draw. A little still life. Um, some magic there. <laughs> Just random, random what, like, random things that I just kind of automatically went to draw. Um, trying to be creative, as I said, trying to get off artist block, trying to stretch myself. This started out with just this random little, I don't know what that is, doodle. And so I ended up just thinking, hey, it's weird, it doesn't make sense, it's Wonderland. Another unfinished doodle. I don't actually like this picture. Something is off. Like, some, like, I don't know. I just don't like it. But that's okay. There are always pictures that I don't like and pictures that I do like, and they're all okay. Um, more little manga sketches. And this is the last one in the sketchbook. I did this just yesterday, actually, um, with Copic markers. Just a little doodle to end off the sketchbook. So that's the end. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope maybe some of this inspired you. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, looking at sketches that I, most of them I haven't even posted on Instagram. Um, so, leave requests for the videos below. Um, I can always use more ideas. Also, I just wanted to say, um, I want to start a secret sketchbook. I got this idea from, from one of my friends on YouTube. She actually just deleted her account, so that's kind of sad, but she's really nice and she was going to have a secret sketchbook where she can just do whatever she wants, doesn't have, doesn't have to worry about what other people think, just kind of be completely creative. And I thought that was a great idea and I might try that myself. Um, and I'm kind of debating whether I should just complete keep it completely secret or do an unveiling of it for a YouTube video. So I might do that in the future. I'm also going to get another Moleskine book because I love these and they're so easy to take with you and the paper is so nice. So I definitely want to start another one of those and more sketchbook tours will be coming in the future because I'm constantly drawing. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for subscribing and please like this video. As I said, leave a comment below and I will see you next time. Bye guys!